Uh, the extent to which military decisions from Civil War battles up until the Cold War, uh, the nuclear age, when the, the ability to use poker logic and psychology to figure out who's bluffing, you would, either with a cavalry charge, they're starting from over here, they're coming over from this direction, or they're fainting, up until today when there are uh, nuclear arsenals pointed at each other, who is representing uh, or misrepresenting the strength of their hand? Do the Iranians have nuclear weapons? Mm -hmm. Do the North Koreans? Those are the, the ability to answer those questions is, is very close, closely related to the ability to read a bluff. Mm -hmm. uh, I would put three American presidents, the, the two best Americans uh, at, at serious poker. Many presidents have played in order to relax with their friends, but Nixon and Eisenhower. Eisenhower courted Mamie Dowd bought his dress uniforms during uh, World War I, and uh, used bluffing tactics at, um, before and during the invasion of Normandy. He was a highly successful player. Nixon, of course, famously won 80% uh, of the money he needed to run for Congress in 1946 in, uh, in uh, Navy games in the Pacific. Winning $8,000 in 1944, 1945 dollars was a whopping sum. So I'd put those two guys there. Uh, Kennedy, not much of a, of a, John F. Kennedy, not much of a regular uh, table poker player, but he, he read Khrushchev's bluffs pretty successfully, counter bluffed himself. And then I would add uh, to that uh, trio, Khrushchev, who successfully mm. bluffed, uh, bluffed the uh, British during the Suez crisis by threatening to attack them with nuclear weapons. But most importantly, when he faced off with Kennedy in 1962 during the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis, October of 62, he laid down his hand. Uh, he could have, he understood that Kennedy was going to keep pushing his hand all the way to the river, and Khrushchev could have retaliated. He could have, he, he could have done the macho thing and continued to, uh, to, to try to break through the blockade and, and risk the con uh, conventional confrontation with us that could have easily escalated into military, uh, into nuclear um, status. And the bottom line is that if, if a tiny miscalculation at that stage could have cost tens of millions of lives. He, uh, he subsequently lost his job as Soviet yeah. Premier and it was very costly to him, but Khrushchev uh, may have been the true hero of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Uh, George W. Bush seems to have made a series of miscalculations uh, leading up to, uh, after 9-11. Um, and th the main one is that when Hassan Hus uh, Saddam Hussein was representing that he had weapons of mass destruction, um, there are people who read that situation t and believe that Bush didn't cynically uh, uh, misrepresent the fact that uh, Saddam had those weapons, but in fact uh, was bluffed by Hussein into thinking that, that he had the capacity to attack us with, with uh, nuclear or other uh, weapons of mass destruction. So I would push, put Bush as a, uh, among those who are not very effective poker players on the diplomatic and military level. It, it's a huge mistake to think of poker, uh, of chess as being the most accurate analogy for military situations because military uh, generals um, can hide many of their resources and they can, they can run fakes and that, there's nothing analogous to that in a game of chess. Chess is a, game, is a game of complete information in which the best player almost always will win. Poker, on the other hand, there's incomplete information, and the players uh, are involved, um, have to be highly skilled in leveraging the uncertainty of their opponents. It's much more like uh, a military or diplomatic confrontation than chess is. And this was first pointed out by uh, Eisenhower's um, defense advisor, uh, Oscar Morgenstern, who had worked with John von Neumann to develop game theory. Mm -hmm. Game theory is developed as a, originally as a mathematical expression of bluffing, and that became the logical slash mathematical system by which uh, uh, 
presidents and diplomats and uh, defense advisors have kept us out of nuclear confrontation for the last uh, 60 years. Mm -hmm.